Okay, so now it's time to learn how to create your own ad image. And remember, the purpose of having an ad image is what you're wanting to do is take all of the things that are constantly going to be in your ads, the name of your business, the services you offer, the items you sell, the you know your phone number, your address, all the stuff that you're always going to be using. You don't want Craigslist to be able to pick up on those different phrases because if they see that if Craigslist sees the same phone number and the same address all over a bunch of different ads, they're going to pick up on that and they're going to flag you and ghost you. So, uh, so we want to create an ad and then convert it all into an image so that Craigslist is not able to read into that image. And you'll see a little bit later about how we actually uh, insert kind of like a fake text that uh, your uh, people who view in your ad can't see but Craigslist reads it uh, we'll get into that in a little bit for now let's just get into let's look at creating an ad image uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your toolbox up here and download a couple of programs now there are lots of different ways to create ad images I'm going to show you the way that I do it um, this is the easiest way uh, that I know how to do it and um, and it's very user friendly. It's easy to pick up on this. So what you're going to want to do is uh, click on the uh, this link here to download Web Page Maker. This is the software that we're going to be using to actually make your ad look the way you want it to look. It's a wonderful software. Drag and drop. Be very user friendly. You're going to love this. So you're going to save the file and uh, install that program. I've already got it on my computer. I'm not going to do that right now. Then you're going to want to download and install this program called Snagit. This is actually the software that we're going to be using to capture your ad. This software takes a photograph of your screen. So we'll be using the easy to use drag and drop software called Web Page Maker to make your ad look the way you want it to look. And then you're just going to take a, a, a picture of your screen with Snagit here. Uh, once again, I've already got that on my computer. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to install it again. But once you get those two programs installed, you'll be able to do exactly what you're about to see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a new fresh web page maker and I'm just going to make a little dummy ad, show you a couple of the different options of a web page maker, show you how to use the basic features. And if you are interested, I can give you access to some other more detailed tutorials that are made about things you could do with web page maker. Pretty much what I'm going to do is start off. I'm going to change the background color. If you just click on the background, you are able to click on this color palette up here and choose which color you want uh, the background to be. Here's a nice little tool here. It's called the color picker. It basically changes the background to any color that you hover your mouse over. Uh, that's interesting. I just wanted to show you that. I think I'm going to uh, change the background to a black here. Uh, then what I'm going to do is just kind of create a frame for my ad. I can click on insert rectangle, this little object right here. You can insert rectangles and um, circles. And uh, you can see here this drag and drop. Everything on here is drag and drop. You simply uh, click and drag the shape to be the exact size that you want it to be. And remember, snag it's going to take a picture of what you see. So you just have to make it look how you want it to look in your ad. Um, another thing to remember is if you are using a very large monitor like a 25 inch monitor or 30 inch monitor you don't want to create your ad to fill your whole screen because it's not going to fit on a normal size 15 17 inch monitor for other people so you don't want to create your uh, your image too large if you're using a large monitor so keep that in mind now I can double click on this image here and it's going to bring up the my options to change the color so what I'm going to do is show you this fill effect option down here. It allows you to choose two different colors to use uh, on this particular shape here. And I like to do this. I like the way it looks when uh, when the color kind of fades in with the background. I, I, I you do that a lot with my ads. Uh, but once again, you can change this to any color scheme, anything, any way that you want. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some text. And if you look up here, this double A right here, you just click on that and then click on your screen where you want to insert your text. Now you just double click on your text on that text box to edit it. And then this ad, I think I'm going to make a, uh, a hometown barbecue. So the best BBQ in town. Now open seven days per week. Okay, and then this is just like any other text editor. You can highlight the uh, highlight the letters you want to work with. You can make them bold. You can underline them italics. You can change the color. I think I'm going to change these to a yellow because it's going to be up against that black background. I'm going to make the size of it slightly smaller. I think I'm going to take this uh, 
take the second line here and make it a 26 size. Maybe take the top line, make it a 48. And then what I'm going to want to do is highlight it all and I'm going to center it so that it's nice and symmetrical for my ad. Press OK. And you see only the V shows up. That's because I have to make this text box larger. Simply click and drag it to be larger. Best barbecue in town. Now open seven days a week. We'll park that right there. Uh, now let me just, uh, I'm going to open up the internet here and I'm just going to look for an image. I'm going to go to Google and type in BBQ. And this is a trick. Anytime you're looking for an image, something that relates to the ad that you're making, you go to Google, type in just the keyword, and then click on this images button up here. And it, it should just bring up lots of pictures of barbecue or babysitting or software, whatever it is that you're dealing with. And uh, let's see here. I'm just going to choose a picture. I'm going to right click on the picture and go to copy image. Now, when I open up Web Page Maker, I simply right click again and hit paste image, and boom, it, it sticks it right there. Now, what I'm, one thing I'm going to do here to show you layering is I'm going to put a little border, a black border around this picture here. So I'm just going to insert another square. Okay, I'm going to click it and drag it to be the size that I want it to be, and then I'm going to change the color to black because that's what color I want the black ground, background to be. Now you can see that this is actually in front of the picture. That's not what we're trying to do here. Um, we want this to be in the back, and everything on Web Page Maker is done in layers. Everything, every time you insert something onto the screen, it makes it the top layer. So what I can do is just right-click on here. Go to layers and click on send to back, and it's going to push it backwards a layer. So now it's behind our photo and now we can make our nice little border for our picture. Next thing I'm going to do just to show you something real quick, you can click on one text box, simply hit control C, control V and it's going to copy and paste it. Move this down here and we will say open open seven days per week 7 a.m. through 7 p.m. Let's make this a little bit smaller here. And one thing I would like to add on there is our phone number. Five, 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 five. Okay, so there's our ad. Now uh, you can uh, add lots of other images or whatever text, whatever you need your ad to be. You can put it right on there just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Snag it here. And I'm going to take a picture of the screen to create my ad image. Uh, there's a couple of options here. If what the first option I'm going to show you is going to be region, then I'm going to go back and show you the scrolling window to show you these two functions because you might use them a lot depending on how large your ad is. Our ad here fits on the screen. We're not having to scroll down to see anymore. Uh, so we're going to be able to use this region function. So click on region and then click on capture. Now I'm simply going to drag and drop where I want Snagit to take a photo of and it's going to import it directly into the Snagit editor. So this is the image. Now I can click up here and click on save and I could save this image as whatever I want it to be. So now, now we have um, now we have this that we created on Web Page Maker converted over into an image. And then now we're going to be able to use that image on our Craigslist ad, and Craigslist is not going to be able to read the details of our ad uh, because it's all it's all embedded in an image. The other option I wanted to show you with the Snagit is let's say, for instance, your ad had been longer. I'm just going to highlight all this, hit Control C and V to make a copy of it. Let's just assume that this was additional information and that. Uh, you weren't able to take a picture of the screen because it wasn't your whole ad. You can click, that's when you use the scrolling window option on Snagit and click capture. Now you are able to um, click on a window that scrolls and it's going to scroll down. All right, and that's going to take that and import it directly into the, um, the Snagit editor. Now you can see we have a picture ad here. Uh, and, and you can actually scroll down. It's large enough. Now, you see this little dot over here. We, to, to get rid of that dead space on the right-hand side, we just drag that in. And if we wanted to close this up on the bottom, we could drag this up. Boom, just like that. 
so that's how you create your uh, image ad using Web Page Maker and Snagit. Web Page Maker has a free trial, so you're going to be able to use it to make your ad even without purchasing it. And I do believe if you run out of your 30 day trial, if you're using Windows, you can open up a new desktop and uh, be able to uh, use it for another 30 days to create another ad if you needed to. The Snagit, I'm not sure if it has a free trial or not. If it doesn't, for just a small fee, if you wanted to create your ad, you can shoot it to me and I can take a picture of it, convert it into an image ad for you uh, if you didn't want to uh, purchase the Snagit software. Um, so that is it. In just uh, the next video, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to take this this ad that image ad that we just created and we are going to post it so that we can use it in our craigslist ad so uh, i guess i'll see you in the next video